So remember, we're going to have just we're going to have that come up to the ear, the jaw, but I'm not ready for it because I'm still shaping. We're still shaping. That ear may have to come a little more forward because I did commit somewhat to this figure. Again, just to give my bearings, I'm going to take a little bit of a, quite a bit of the forehead off. And temple. Now I'm going to come back a little more because that eye socket is not as deep as I want it to be. So I'm going to work on the eye socket because I'm, I'm working towards the ear now. And we can straighten everything else out later. I want to start working towards the ear. And I want to actually dig a little bit more. I know I scooped. But we'll scoop again. And again. Where is my, there it is. <sighs> Trying to get deeper and rounding at the same time. No, it isn't. I still want him to have a sideburn, but I think we're still going deeper. Now there's bringing the face out. Careful with that tip. off of here is over there. what I'm working on right now I'm gonna I'm gonna start on this part let's get this hair out of here now the problem is is getting in here maybe I should get back to the arm and that is going to be a pain in the you know what so I'm gonna have to use my chisel Always, oops, chisel, always, and there's at least in the sideburn. So I'm going to continue on here because this is going to disappear. I said the jaw is going to come to the ear here's what's going to happen and his hair no matter how no matter how long that hair is in the back there's got to be a separation right here now see he does have a little bit of a separation separation right here and the hair goes in the back yeah, right here 
but the his sideburn is not going to be too dark, too low. So that's why. First, I'm going to take this off a little bit. Mm. I'm going to take this. I think. Oh, oh, I may have committed to a nice sharp cut on him there. And the best thing, I'm thinking, the best thing that I keep playing and playing, and you know what? I'm just going to have to kind of start playing with the ear itself. Ear comes way, I mean, it's going to come. Look at his ear. It comes way down. And we're probably going to take some, we're going to take a lot off. That's why I kept playing and playing. going to go about here. Just the V. Help me just a little bit here. So I'm going to commit to the ear here. Here behind the ear. And like I said, it's right here. Right here. And then the jaw goes up to the ear, right there. And again, I've taken a little too much, too much of this is, this is what you want to get out of there. In other words, take as many scoops as you can, or as many swipes as you can, to get that out of there. A little bit of cleaning. Like I said, it's going to go right here. And you know what? How are we going to get on the other side? And so I'm going to take a lot of the hair off. Again, you can keep as much hair as you want. I'm just going to as use, I'm going to do a a simple head. Hopefully help help me on this side a little bit. But it's gonna to come to a stop here. <sighs> now again, this is kind of getting kind of wacky again I'm sorry I'm just trying to get things going and I want to take that ear down again that will also help because <clears throat> the ear does go down the ear goes down and then it cones this way And as I mentioned before, this guy here, of course, is a larger person. Therefore, the ears, this ear should not be any more bigger than the bigger guy's ear. Like I said, here's the... Here's where the... Where it comes up, I want to take, I guess I'll take some of that. 
take some of that out of there. I'm gonna get back to them. Got, got, got that started. Now, again, more ear out of there. Down like this. Oh boy, we still got a lot of ear. Guess not. You, you can see he's starting to take shape. Let's take some of his hair back. Again, unless you want him to have, be more, oops, be a more hairy. And for me, my, and when I got a good haircut, it's just barely touching the ear or back. So what we did here is, uh, or actually what I did here, get this started, get this nice ear in here. So far the ear is a little too big. It's better, I guess, to have big ears. You can always shape it. And what's going to happen is that when you cut this, then you can get that hair back. And if you get the hair back, then you can see what you're doing with the ear. And the hair is like right about here. And you can see how it kind of really hacky it is. Let's see if one of my little round tools will help me out. Yep, I see everything here except the tool I'm looking for. Doesn't that always happen to you? There he is, he was hiding it. This is for the sake of cleaning and of course rounding too. There's the jaw. Oh, excuse me. Cleaning and shaping at the same time. I still got my, yeah, I still got that up. There's no collar on this. Let's, before I forget, let's reestablish this. Let's get that reestablished and that'll help with it. I'm gonna put that in right away because I'm still, since I'm working with the head, let's get this in because I'll be needing this in when I'm working the chin. I am not sure if I want to put a bow, or not a bow, put a uh, collar on this shirt here. Oops, wrong side, that's the wrong, that's the side that needs sharpening. I didn't get around to it. Oops. That's what it did. All I did was get this started. Just to get it started. And there's a bit more when we start, when we do our detailing, cleaning up, but I want to just run around this, just a little bit of roundness. But remember, this is a loose kind of a coat, kind of a coat. Try to get as much, try to get as much There we go, getting there. We'll just kind of have, I'll just paint like a, I don't know what kind of shirt he's gonna wear. Commit to, he's just got a shirt on. If you wanna put a collar on it. I was trying to make this as simple as I could. I'm beginning to lose it over. I lost it over here too. 
Let's take a look at the. Oh, it goes right up. It does go right up. Where are you? Right there. Let's see if I can get started. No, we can't get started with the V. Maybe we could. The V is too. My V is just too big. Uh, what do we got here? Oh. I know I've sharpened. I haven't had this V in a long time. I think I sharpened it. Let's see how sharp it is. Not very. Try to sharpen it. There we go. Oh, where are you? Yeah, again, every time when I'm upside down, I really got to pay attention as to where where you are here. I mean, for... It just still... I can't get in there. Because it, the base of the tool always runs into the head. And no, this is not very sharp. Man, a living. Now the head, oh, we don't have any hair. Um, that's like I said, this is just a regular guy. And that's going to, like, that's hair, and what's underneath is neck. Again, the neck needs a little more shaping. And it needs to go up to the ear. Oh, there's, no, that's the, that's the uh, sideburn, so be careful. <sighs> now, just getting in the matter of shaping and shaping. I'm going to be pretty soon, I'm going to have to take a break and get back downstairs and I got a nice uh, sharpening machine. Get that all sharpened. I am going to, well, let's do this. I want to round this a little bit. Round this a little bit. Because the nose has to come out and the cheek has to come down. Still, I still want to cone this, cone his mouth. <sighs> Again, eyeball here. Here, here, mouth, here, here. Let me see if I just do a little bit of this. <sighs> this will help. But it needs much more sharpening because we're digging and <sighs> I think right there I want to Start with the mouth. Now I need this going on. Uh, sometimes I like to put the mouth in before, and then a lot of it, a good chunk of it, is going to disappear. 
And so what's going to happen is we need a little bit of chipping here. And a little chipping here. Be careful you don't hit that nose. Cut here. Cut here. A little bit of rounding. A little bit of taking away. A little bit of rounding here. A little bit of rounding here. I don't think that piece didn't come out. Okay, profile, because we do need that mouth to be seen in our profile. Where are your profiles? So, as you can see, again, the chin. Sometimes I do this where you, the bottom lip has got to be below the lower, the upper lip. So I would do something like this. Then I want to do a little bit of lip. And then shape right up to the nose. right up to the nose <sighs> shape so you can I like coning the upper lip that's the best way to put it because you want the, the upper lip to kind of come out but there's still a little too much I don't want to just little scoop like this Now I can see that I still gotta go deeper here. All right, now I want the bottom lip. Go something like this and like this at the same time. I wanna start with this because it's easier to start with a knife when it's this small then with a chisel because I want this the, 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 this knife mark will help guide the chisel to smooth it out or we could just leave this like this and yeah I need a chisel to do this get the cheek chin in there And then I want to clean this a bit. <sighs> Do one of these under the cheekbone. <sighs> and I think <sighs> around this, I think I kind of want to get to a point where I want to take a a stop and what's going to happen with the mouth is that the bottom lip of course is the widest and, and what it does is it shrinks this way and it shrinks depth wise at the same time so in other words it's going to shrink and shrink till it disappears there. shrink and shrink this way depth wise until it disappears Now I'm going to leave it there. I think it's not too bad. Uh, there's quite a bit of adjustments. Oh my word. And what I'm going to do is, uh, for the sake, I just want to move on. I'm sorry about all these chips. And it really is kind of difficult. 
<clears throat> as I've said, I am trying to put in a weekend's worth. Yeah, something happened here. And that's why I'm so fast and chippy than normally I am. I'm just going to bing, 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 let's get out of here and it's not working. And the ear is starting to fall apart now. And I want to get the ear inside the sideburn. And again, I'm also concentrating on keeping the piece in the camera here. Now it's going to be the same on the other side. You're just going to have to use a, well, it's still, oh no, it starts back to, yeah, I, I, I lost it. I lost the ear. Ah, darn it, I lost it. What I'm going to do next time if I do something like this, it is going to have to be a, a dual piece. It's got a, you got to do the ear, the ear. You got to do the head separate when you got arms in the way like this. And I'm going to cut it in this way. Just starting to shape the ear. And I'm just really chipping away because I'm doing this fast. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> well, I got some more, more to go on the head. The nose a little bit here, like this. More, a little bit more eyebrow, or raise the eyebrow. I wish I could get in there with the knife. Yeah, I am going to, next time I do something like this, I am definitely going to do the head separate. I want to get moving along here. And let's get going on the arms. Now, the arms and the hand. Um, what we got going on here is just simple shirt. And uh, where's my... I did it before, I'll do it again. There's my tweezers here. That's about right. And like I said, eh. Now I got him his arm forward enough, but I want to do something like this. And I want to do, where are you? Where's my X? Because I am a much cleaner carver on my own. It just this racing stuff. That's what we get here. I think we can widen it a little bit now because I'm not getting in into any real details right now. Bring this. <coughs> in closer to his body.
rounding and shrinking at the same time. You can see that shit, that pocket is coming more prevalent. Let's get this in a little more with the kind of with <clears throat> the shirt, the uh, chest is. Yeah, because the head looks like it's a little bit more smaller than I thought it was, so I'm going to have to really get into shrinking arms and stuff. Inside here, okay. His hand is going to be in a fist holding on, and what I think he's going to have cuffs. Cuffs are going to be in. Let's get this. Remember, this is want this to flare a bit. Let's <sighs> get in there. You know, the best part about this, like this particular one, if I chose to, if I get the body nice, I might cut the head off and put a better head on there. It's, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with it. But the thing is, is that everything else is bulky. So it looks like there's more bulk on the body. But well, I'll just save that till later.
And I think I'm going to do that more is teaching more in pieces and put pieces together. I mean, it does not have to be. There's a part of me that says, oh, yeah, it has to be in one solid piece. And it really doesn't have to be. <sighs> one of my favorites is uh, Lynn Doty that's out there. Oh, what is it? Western carving or something like that. And he does cowboys and pieces. And it's beautiful. Nobody's, nobody says anything about, oh, it's in pieces, so it don't count. It doesn't, people don't do that. I just want to do it in one piece. Thinking that is easier, but I am just going to get more into it. Into it. And the other thing, too, is that uh, when you start using pieces, you can start using your scrap wood. That's what I did. As a matter of fact, I did a Mr. Jack Lantern. And he did that, that spooky uh, kind of a arms up and bend forward and legs apart like he's trying to scare you kind of a and everything everything was in pieces from the junk pile scrap pile the legs the arms the head and then the mid the torso that turned out nice so so I am going I'm going to try to do some and there are probably some busts. I, I've, I've done a couple busts. I want to do a couple more busts. And yeah, I did my uh, Uncle Sam bust. <sighs> what else can we do in a bust form? Get another fisherman. Now, like I said, he's going to have the pole from the reel to his hand hanging down, and then it's going to go up back to the Back to the pole and out. Okay. Now, same here. Like I said, it's really, I'm sorry that this is hacky. I am just doing this as fast as I can. And then I just don't, I know I should be shutting down the video and going down and and uh, sharpen whenever I need to. And I'll be doing that shortly. But the reason why I want to stop, I want to get the arms and hands in is because I want to also drill. I'm going to drill and then come up with a, a piece that, um, uh, a dowel. Okay, hand up. So there's a little bit here, but then he still has the fabric. So it could go, but it is up a little bit. His arm, yeah, you can... You can still roll. See, the farther up I was trying to go means the less wood I could use. You know, as part of like this, I could have used a more wider piece. I'm going to stick with this. But I want to be careful in that. Because as I start cutting all this away, I'll probably forget. Is that... When we start getting in the hand, it'll break. Let's see about the patent. Probably end up bringing the arm down a little more, or the hand down a little more. So, now I want to hold on to this arm piece and not just hold on and start carving this way because I'm, I don't want to. I don't, I'm upside down again. That's why it's off screen. That's why I want to hold on to it. And the other thing too is I am learning, always learning more and new techniques. And I can show you, but I have to spend time practicing on and so on. Now this way, I still want it to be a little forward still. And his, that hand is going to be, have a cuff on, or wrist rather.
and I want to go like this because I want to keep that hand scrunched because he's holding on to a pole. Now we're getting closer, but I still want, I still need to go more on this side. starting to take shape. I think I'm going to take the marks off and then just kind of eye it a little bit. And it'll be the same with this arm here. See, as you can see, let me shape this first. Since this arm is coming to a coat of any kind, shirt, coat, whatever, is you could have cut that off, or not cut that off, cut, have a good piece of it, and then shape and when you, from, from your scrap pile and stick that in there. Also the same when you go this direction, this is what I've done with my Santas, is, is sometimes I cut to the cuff and then add a little extra for the hand because sometimes you get this, it cuts down and then you got all of this and this and you have to have a big piece of wood just to have that. And so why do that and then I would cut Okay, I'm going to begin the round and just to round in a little bit. Just let's get the squares. Oh, I still got some saw marks on there. Whoops, am I out? Sorry. Well, the reason why we get the saw marks off is when you start putting fingers in, you just don't want to have all that. Um, oops, I'm sorry, sorry, scooping. Again, I'm just trying to take shaping and taking the pencil marks. I'm going to leave that pencil mark there if I can. This one I can take off. So it's starting to look good. It's starting to get there. I think I still need a little bit more. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Not that way. This way. There. Get a little, get a little hokey here. Not hokey, scrappy. Oh, you can even have them as a protester. Oops, sorry. 
upside down again. It's just shaping. And then while we're at it, let's... Because I do want... I still want this to come at an angle. Because he's tilting. Way off again. Again, I'm just shaping. All right. Um, let's get this line in. This hand is scrunched. I want the hand, that hand, to be the same, about the same hand, same size as this. Let's start with the hand first. I want to give him as much hand as I can, and then this here is the is the cuff. And I'm holding on to the the arm. Right, taking a V, just getting started here on the cuff. Sun is just starting to peek out. So hope it's not gonna get be too much of a deterrent as it was yesterday. All right. See, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go any deeper because I want to put the holes in first with the hands. Let me just get a couple of things here before I shut down. It's like it's sharp, and I just want to, something about just getting some of the big stuff out of the way. And if I do this, like I said, I am, there's going to be quite a bit of, Undercutting. <laughs> now, as far as the net in the back, I think I'll bring it out a little, a little more. Now, the thing is about the boots, there's going to be this extra thing here that's holding. I think I got it buried here nicely. And I'll just do a little bit some more, just a little more cutting here just to kind of start the shaping. And I got the wrong side here. Mm, I hate that when that chips away like that. That's because the tools aren't sharp. We're going to put some butoctyl in back there, some more uh, creases. And
getting this kind of out. Just getting it started. Or this area started. And I guess I'll have more. I'll do that more in the detail in a lot of the creases, a lot of creases. And what I'm hoping for is that the belt is going to be, we do a lot of undercutting here and it's coming down over the belt. The belt is, is going to be covered. So we don't have to deal with it is what I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for. And in the back, um, I don't think I need to do something or anything right now for the, for the net because I think what's going to happen is just it's a matter of putting details in the net and that'll kind of maybe bring it out a little more too. Will help. Just get this kind of cleaned so it's ready for details. And it may come, may squeeze it a little more too. But again, I'll have to come back with the cleaning up and oh my word. But it's always good to at least come back. My understand, my for me, what I like to do is always have clean cuts, always. So then you don't have to do much cleaning. It's done. When it gets to a point where when you're done, it's done. You don't want to go any. You're done with it. And um, I don't think this is really reaching that, but it could reach it pretty darn quick. It is done. It's done. Same with here. We'll have to get maybe will this help a little bit. Just get this in. Get this in a little more here. And again, it's just in details and cleaning up. Right now it is. And it is now. Nuthatch, white-breasted nuthatch o'clock. All right, I'm just going to be ended up picking if I if I don't stop. But like I said, I want to get the knives clean, get the um, holes in, and then I'll come right back. And we'll get into details. So we can get into details of the face and all that kind of stuff. And um, I needed a little more search. I thought I knew where my solid core, oh, about 22 gauge wire is. Got to be solid core. Um, and uh, I thought I know I'm going to do a little bit dig into that too. And that's going to be another little project. Be right back. Who the heck's idea is this? <laughs> back with uh, what I did was uh, let me catch up my knife and I put some holes in the pole this is a oh I forgot to mention I'll mention on the patterns this is one of these and I got the big ooh 3 16th inch dowel that'll be glued like right there All right, let's get in on the hands. I want to get, keep on a, a rock in here. Now the hands, because he's got the, the pole this way, but the wrist is going to be down. So, I can get my bearings here with my knife. Oops. Because this is the plane of the hands, is this way. Let's start with that. And we're continuing on. Let's see, do we have the same? Same X there, and see if we can zoom in just a little bit. We have the same X. 
So let's get the plane in the hands. Now if he's holding the pole, get that back in there, get in there. So the hands, the knuckle will be here, all right. So I got the knuckle correctly. And so the hands, the fingers, I'll go like this, and I'm sorry for the shadows. I'm just going to get a new lighting system now that the old one got broke. <sighs> yes, it is annoying. And the thumb is going to come around. Thumb is going to come around. And these fingers will be buried. And this will go in. So let me at least get started here. Yeah, I busted my light. That's going to go into the wrist. Now it's starting to look something like something. All right, let me see if uh, that is correct. Let's. I did. <coughs> As I said, I did. At least attempt to sharpen these. And the knife. Zoom in some more. This is really gonna make, make darn sure I'm on that X. And it goes in. And that goes to the wrist. It's much more adjustments to come. Although I can't went through the wrist here. Um, that the pole will dis make that disappear. She did the pinky some. Bend the knuckles a little more. I'll just have to get there in there and do the detail knife. And it's very difficult to do this with this light and at this angle. But at least we got it started.
there is this has to come around It's just getting started. It's the thumb and nails. They need the same here with this one. Now this one's going to be really round. And the thing interesting about this carving is, you know, he's looking, he's looking forward. And you always, that's why I was trying to put a little bit of bend into it. It didn't work too much. You had to put a big bend. Because it just, every time you, when you put a bend in, it's, it just kind of works its way back. And um, he is looking forward because that's what he's looking. He's looking at that, the perfect spot is what he's looking at. Again, I have to clean that. Let's blend the cleaning. Uh, let's get a zipper in him. Like I said, I, I don't want to deal with the belt unless you want to. I just, uh, the belt is buried with that hanging over. Same with this side here. Let's do. Just add a nice crease in there. Again, I can detail and cleaning up. It just, it's just so hard with this light and this angle. But if I can just show you a little bit of chip carving going on in there. All right. The net, let me flip this, come over here. <clears throat> You're looking at the net. What we're gonna do with the net. I'm gonna flip him over. <clears throat> kind of show what we're dealing with. So it's kind of a this kind of a shape. And the other thing I neglected to add, and I don't care, is this how it hangs down? This hangs down. I could have, could have add that. I wonder if I still have enough material, but I don't think so. Where's our X? Is right there. Oh. So, again, it's just more into the shaping part, but if I can at least get you started, I mean, there's, all it is is, Let's see if I have a little extra. I'll do I'll have to go around. Now I don't want to get too deep with this. Watch the green.
So here's a challenge to you if you want to do another one. I'm going to do another one. Uh, it's not really, I don't know if I'm going to post, I'll post a picture if I get there. I mean, this is just talk right now. But um, I'm going to have, so he's in the water, nice brook going on, rocks and water. And he's got, and what he's, he'll be looking down because he's got a, he's got a trout coming up. He's got a trout. Do something like that. That'll be your challenge too. Do the same. Yeah, there we go. Got enough material to put in a the sag. Make sure you paint it the same color. You paint it the same color, just as long as you got a good three dimensionality going on there. All right, let's smooth this out just a little bit. Just don't smooth it too much. Make it as, you know, even a bit. Round it just a piece. Let's take the <coughs> excuse me the pencil marks off of there. Throat, throat's getting dry. Right. Take the. V. I'm gonna just go at angles. Kind of the cheat is that it's not gonna be even like this, of course. But just <coughs> oh, my throat's getting dry. <coughs> I have, it's really interesting, <clears throat> when I saw one of uh, Ryan Olson's class and he's got a, a, a type of dental brush. It's a brush with has a brush on, big brush on one side, flip it over, it has a little brush. Got one exactly like it. Now, where did I put it? Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to start getting into, we're getting kind of done here. The rest is getting more into the, the details, or the, not details, but cleaning up and fixing it the way you want to fix it. And then, of course, I'll get into the, um, I'll definitely get into stringing, stringing this. But here we get. Um, like I said, uh, I will be doing more undercut in my cleaning up. Let's under really really under cut really undercut that's what that say come out that's under undercut. Extra. 
And with that, <coughs> I think it might help if I do a little bit of a, just like what I did up here, is if you do a little bit of a scooping. And that'll come out more. And it'll add more dense, but let's really, let's say look at the green, you know, this way here. Oops, I just lost some of it. Now, you might want to adjust the boots a little thinner, whatever, uh, but uh, I think, you know, I'm doing first, where's the, yeah, where's the knee? Actually, the knee should be right there. Let's get that knee in first, put some regular dents in like this. Oops. Dents like this. And then dent on this side. Dent on this side. Crease. Sharp grease. Get that out of there. Just get the erase that. Other side. Oops. Ooh, careful. Not to get that knee out. One on this side, one on this side. Now I'm going to put this dent in like this. Let's put that dent in. Get out of there. Let's get a nice dent here. Comes down this way. I think it does. On the outside, I believe. But on the inside, let's get a good dent here. Other side. It's going to go in now the dent. It's not going to be too dent here because he's stretching a little bit, but there's some dents. inside here and some couple of roundies there we go Get a couple of nice roundies Now, same thing over here. <sighs> Get out of there. around these here. I think I know it has still some pencil mark there. While I'm here, I'll just do some roundies. Right there.
two roundies. Let's get this a little deeper. There we go. This side. Extra little scoop here to bring that out. Some extra roundies, some right at where it would smooth out the Sharpies. Maybe a little in here. <clears throat> well, that's really denting it up. Now same here, like I want to do, I got to do a undercut, undercut, fingers out of the way, undercut, get in there. Put a couple of these dents in there. <sighs> so I'm going to go up. You can probably take a chisel to this, a round chisel if you want. I'll put this so, it'll, so there's a opening. Back under here, undercut, fingers out of the way, cut up into it. Let's get back in here so we'll work with that undercut. <coughs> itch. Do some on over here, undercut. Undercut. Some more of these wedges in there. Excuse me. Well, I get some undercutting here. I make sure this is nice and sharp. Do maybe a little bit of undercutting. All right. Now, same thing here. Undercut fingers out of the way. So let me come <coughs> bring out some nice shadows. Cut as much as you want.
Now this thing here, I think it's a little more extra just to get it leaving out. Same thing here, we want to do undercuts. Now we'll under, I want to, I need to stop for right now. But uh, we'll get back to everything else tomorrow. Where are you? There you are. And uh, we'll work on it, the rest of it. Tomorrow. done as it's gonna be I mean it's still some chip in here and there little little this little that um, in retrospect um, I would uh, the hands did turn out a little tinier than I had expected the head a little smaller than I expected the reason why is this I've, I've carved this kind of almost in the um, you forgive the pun on the fly uh, my brother said let's go fishing this Friday and so I had to hurry up and come up with some kind of a conceptual idea here and uh, so I'll come back and uh, change the pattern a little bit but other than that I mean the body is is pretty good and the posture is pretty decent Head may need quite a bit, quite a bit more adjustment. Anywho, now he has the pole. Where are you? And what I did was I took a V tool and carefully. Cut a V. I don't know if you could see it. I started with a small V and worked myself up to a larger V. There, like this. Now the wire I'm using is an old. It's it's a uh, solid core. You don't want a um, braided core. This one I'm using an 18 gauge. I think maybe a 20 might still be alright because. If you bend it, it'll keep its shape. And so, like, there's the something like this. Maybe at the end of the pole. And I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do and what you should do. Because it's, it's going to be kind of a lot of uh, messing around. And it, it is going to be a little frustrating. And I'm going to glue. And the thing is, is uh, if you're going to paint the pole, you should paint the pole, paint the figure first before you mess with this. You can see there's the line coming back. Uh, the reason why. <coughs> You get everything done because then we're going to put this, glue this, and what's going to happen is then you're going to put the this back in, and, and, and it's going to come down to his hand. It's, it's going to come down to his hand this way. 
the reason why you want to wait till it's all the, it's you're gonna you're gonna put the the reel on after the reel on has to come come on after because you can't you probably could if you want to put the the reel on shove it in if you want to do it that way because it's because then you'll have to do your gluing while he has it in his hand. And you might, the reason why I don't have a 20 gauge is that 20 or 22 gauge is this is all I have is this 18 gauge. And then once that's glued and shove it in there, this comes up this way and it goes onto the reel. This is where you might need a, maybe another hand. So it's going to come up. And you can have as much out as you want. I've had, I've had as much out as I could here. And uh, look at uh, many pictures. Look at the fly fishing pictures. And it's going to stop there. You see a snippet here. Let's see if I can stay there. That looks pretty nice. You can even have it in the water. You can have as much as you want. Because in here's like it's here's the worst part is the gluing. Having this glued down. Uh, one way you could do this is if you have uh, those little roach clips, those little hold it down. Uh, you can either use 5 minute epoxy, um, uh, hot glue, and then come here and bend. I think at the end it'll all it will look pretty darn cool. Now you want it to go, because he's he's kind of moving forward. Yeah, it's going to be like this. It's going to have to be where the loop is in front, and then the the fly will follow after as he's moved. His arm is in a forward motion. And if I were you, I'd even put even a lot more wire out. Now here's the other thing too, is the, the line is usually um, green, sort of a pea green or a yellow, if you want to paint that. And then at the end, just put a little black dot or something as the fly. But generally, there you have it. Uh, like I have mentioned, you just look down below. Uh, let's see where you that way. To the description, we'll have my uh, the the uh, pattern for this. And. <clears throat> Also, other uh, odds and ends, sign up uh, for my uh, uh, free patterns. And get onto my email list. And there we have it. And pretty soon we are going to have a, we're going to catch a really big fish. Because Ethel is coming in. Let's see if we can lure her in. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think she's getting away. Nope, nope, she's got it. She's got it. Bring it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. That's a big one. <laughs> there you are. Till next time. Till next time.